Good morning, you beautiful people. So we arrived in Krabi province last night. Had a little bit of a walk around the night market. And then today we are gonna go and see if we can go to the salon because Ashley wants to get her hair washed. <laughs> so the one thing about being in Southeast Asia that you may notice, we've talked about it before with the shower filter, is that the water quality when you are washing may have things like chlorine in it, the pipes may be rusty, etc. So it means that your hair does sometimes suffer. So we're gonna to go to the salon today and Ashley's gonna treat herself to a little bit of a hair wash. But we're really excited, we're in Krabby Town today and then we're gonna be going down to Nang tomorrow whilst we explore Krabby province. So let's go and show you around. Yeah, Luke got his hair cut yesterday. Finally, it was getting really long and it actually went really well. Let me just say, I did not realize how bad my hair had started to look, especially from behind. <laughs> so if in the videos you're like, this guy needs a haircut. I know, I did, I did. It does look really good now. If I'm not gonna get my hair cut or colored. I would not wanna get my hair colored, even by someone else, let alone my own hairdresser. So in a different country, I just, no. It could do with a cut, but girls, you know what it's like to find a hairdresser that you actually trust? So I think I'm just gonna go get my hair washed and blow dried. Okay, so I've just dropped Ashley off at the hair salon. I'm gonna go and find myself a little cafe to get lost in for 40 minutes while she gets her hair washed and see if I can get myself a little cake. And guys, I'm gonna risk a coffee today. Now that food poisoning that we spoke about in the Phuket video, that has been lingering with me for well over a week now. I ended up going back to the pharmacist, getting some more tablets. I've been taking those for a couple of days. I'm feeling a little bit brave this morning, so I might give a coffee coffee ago but I've got about a 10 minute walk so I'll see you when I get there okay guys so on the way to the coffee shop I actually walk past this absolutely stunning temple let's get up these steps and let's have a little look see this is the best bit about traveling is just exploring and coming across places you don't know and I love a good look around these temples and this one is pretty pretty so let me show you Oh, it doesn't actually seem to be that many people here. This place is pretty empty. Unless I'm the only idiot who's coming out of the peak of the day <laughs> to go up these steps. It was really pretty in there. Time to head down from the temple now. I'm gonna go get myself that coffee that we spoke about. I'm already starting to get sweat droplets on my t-shirt as I'm walking around. So I'm fingers crossed this place has aircon. Okay guys, I've reached my destination. I were actually recommended this place by a couple of friends that we met in Kaosok National Park. So let's go and give it a go. I've actually gone for the burger, which I did not intend to do. It just looks so good on the menu. I've also gone for the chocolate orange milkshake, which looks absolutely banging. So let's see how good it tastes. Okay, yeah, that's mega. <laughs> that is absolutely mint. I think the only problem with this drink is it's not gonna last very long. It's just too good. My dirty burger has arrived. It even came with a little bit of veg, so I can feel healthy, even though I'm being really unhealthy. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Hey, beautiful. Does it feel better now you've had it washed and blow dry? Yeah, the, ha the hair wash was just like, oh, it felt good. She did curl it, but it's not very curly. I don't think they're used to um, such like... Thick hair. No, and like frizzy. Right. morning so we didn't do much else yesterday we were editing a vlog um, and we stayed in this room quite a bit it's probably one of the nicest rooms if not the nicest room we've stayed in don't you think yeah definitely agree <laughs> so i would say if you are coming to crammy town this place is called the blue monkey hub you're on camera. One of the, yeah, I was just trying to look at what the name of the place is. <laughs> oh, trying to be discreet. You know what I'm like? Blue monkey. Blue monkey. Let me show you the room. It might just look like a standard hotel room. It's so new and clean and nice. Good TV. The beds are ridiculously comfortable. They're like being in your own bed at home. It is one of the nicest rooms we've stayed in. And we had a movie night the first night because the beds are just so comfortable. And my God, guys, we watched Saltburn. Who recommended us to watch Saltburn? I do not know, but that film is weird. Two hours, we'll never get back. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, bathroom. Oh, we need to take our shower head off. Look at the shower filter. Gross. 
But yeah, that's the room. We are checking out today, hence why the bags are packed. And we are getting a taxi down to Ao Nang, which is still in Krabi province. It's only about 20 to 30 minutes. Let's check out. Oh, also, you know it's somewhere decent when there's two pillows each. That is a treat. Okay, we've just got to our next hotel and it's too early to check in. They've also got a power outage and there's a sign for it, so it must be a planned one. So it's really super hot. We've got our swimmers out, we're gonna put those on and then we're gonna just chill by the pool until we can check into our room. So we realized as I went to get in the taxi this morning, I didn't have my wedding ring on. Checked back from the footage this morning and it also wasn't on there, so I've no idea at what point it actually came off of my finger. Normally, I have a habit of playing with it, so I realized as I got in the taxi it wasn't there, but I hadn't realized up until that point, which makes me think I had it on most of this morning. I tried to phone the hotel. They can't really understand me, to be honest. So I don't really know what to do about that. I'm gonna check through all my baggage when we can check in here a little bit later today, but unfortunately, it might be gone. Uh -huh. Let's yeah. go and enjoy the pool. Let's go swimming. <sighs> We've checked into our room and now we're going to head out into Ao Nang and explore a little bit. See you when we're in the town. Going inside then, yeah? Okay, so we just got dropped off at Much and Mellow. So we'll get there, we'll go in the aircon. We went in there and it's pretty busy. There's no tables inside, so we're like, oh, okay. We'll just go to Watson's, the shop. It says on the door it's closed because of the power outage and then we looked and there's Starbucks closed, 7-Eleven closed, all because of the power outage so it's not just our hotel, it seems like the whole place. <laughs> We seem to have found one place with AC in all of our Nang. This place called Mango Mango. It's bloody bliss, man. <laughs> so nice in here. We've just ordered some smoothies. That'll help cool us down. Don't know why this place has got power and nowhere else hasn't. How good do they look? Oh yeah. I'm still a bit unsure about mango because I think mango sticky rice has put me off. And you know I love a strawberry smoothie. Like it's my go-to now. Oh. Really chocolate ice cream, mate. I'm like a child. See, can you tell my stomach started to recover? Yeah. I tested it out yesterday and it was all good. You tested it out? I tested it out. I tested it out yesterday and it was all good. Ah. So today I was like, Go I'm for going it. for a chocolate ice cream, bugger it. past five and the power's back on we were just walking and the lights on the shop in the shops came back on and everyone was like hey so. okay we went back to the room we freshened up sat in the aircon for a while and now we're going back out and meet up with some friends that we haven't seen since nimbin which is in vietnam yeah we're gonna have dinner together and a few drinks so look at that sky oh my gosh morning so we left you last night when we were going out for the indian which was really good really nice to catch up oh and we also got something new one sec decided to replace the wedding ring <laughs> the other ring is gone i've checked my bag yeah. multiple times and it is not there unfortunately but we do have a new one new and shiny i'm still <laughs> married it is about 10 to 8. we're going on the four island tour today we'll tell you along with us let's go First one's on the bus. Just been dropped off at the office? I don't know. The office is the company we're going with. It looks like they've got different tours going at the same time, so we've just had to sign in. We need to pay 200 baht per person for the national park fee. So we just had to get some cash out. Made it 
to what is called Tuk Island. Yeah. And this is just pristine. Like the waters here are insane. Like completely see-through. Could be that water. See -through. And you're walking down the beach but in the water at the same time. Yeah. It's so cool. Looks like this little bit of sand like connects that island to that island. Okay guys, so we booked this tour through Get Your Guide. It costs about £20 per person. That doesn't include your ticket price to the National Park, which is an additional 200 baht per person. But for 20 quid, you do the four islands tour on Get Your Guide, and you get to come places like this, which are absolutely stunning. And now I think you can also get similar tours from places like Fifi, or you can even go from Krabby Town, where we were the other day. It's definitely something I would recommend doing whilst you're here, to come and see some absolutely stunning beaches, some crisp still clear seawater and chill out. The other thing with this tour is there's two options. You can get the long tail boat or you can get a speed boat. Now we chose a long tail boat, one because it was cheaper and also it just feels more chill. Thailand, I don't know. Yeah. More chill, yeah. Speed boat just seems more rushed and the long boat, yeah. We chose that experience, but if you want to do it quicker, then get a speed boat. That being said, I think it's time that we went for a dip. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. Stop of the day, it's time for a little bit of snorkeling. So it's back to the GoPro off the big camera. We're gonna go and have some fun. Okay, so the second snorkeling spot, as you can see behind me, this is Chicken Island, as our guide has just told us. So we're gonna jump in the water now, do a little bit of snorkeling, and we'll see you in the water. See, I couldn't do that because of the burn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the jellyfish. Oh, yeah. Jelly. I don't know if I want to jump in there, I've seen the jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Look at all the fish. <laughs> well, my shoulder is stinging a little bit, which makes me think maybe I could get a little bit of a jelly stick. He did say they're not dangerous at this time of year, but there are these really tiny ones in the water, which I only just saw yeah. as I was coming up to it. So I might keep my eye out for those from now on. I'm not sure how well you'll see this, but that jelly is just getting eaten by the fish. It means all these little bits of jellyfish get on the surface oh, and then sting you. Oh my God, I've never seen a jellyfish like that. Okay, so we just stopped off at the third island and this is where we're going to have some lunch. So we've got about half an hour to relax on the beach, have some lunch and then after lunch we'll probably go for a swim. Right, let's go and explore this little island then. We've just stopped to top up the sun cream and we both got stung by jellyfish. And it's slightly... Yeah, you can just see it's a slight red mark, it's nothing major. No. And it's just a slight stinging, it's not like the end of the world pain which you can get with some yeah. jellyfish. So, he did tell us that this time of year, it's quite mild, mostly. Yeah, but I think I've got some of my neck somewhere, I don't know if you can see and on my leg. The one thing I am getting used to in Southeast Asia is there being no toilet paper in the bathroom because in Southeast Asia they use the hose instead. When I first got here I was like, what is that hose for? And uh, now we know. <laughs> I have to say, I am a fan of the bum gun. The bum gun came in massively handy in Phuket when I had that really bad stuff. <laughs> Too much information. Good old bum gun. But it's just stunning out here, Krabby Province. You have got it all absolutely beautiful. Thank you. This is lunch. We've got a bit of curry going on and rice. 
Then we gotta take your barbage back then. Look at that beach, oh my gosh. Look at that guy, oh my gosh, like James Bond in the water. <laughs> so we just got back on the boat, we got given some crisps, cake zero, and some fruit. Okay, so we are at our fourth and final stop, which is Rayleigh Beach. Now, we weren't too sure that this was on the tour today, actually, but it's somewhere we wanted to come to. As we got off the boat then, the guy just told us that there's three main points to Rayleigh, and that's the east side, which is where the port is, where the boats just dropped us off, and then there's the west side, and then there's the, the, the middle bit. Now, I'm not too sure which bit we're going to, but he told us to walk and turn left and carry on. So, it'll be a nice surprise. Whoa, look at this. Okay, so we've made it to the beach here at Riley and we've heard about these caves. We watched a couple of YouTube videos when we were researching Krabi province. We'll go and show you what we're talking about in just a second. I don't get it. Why? So apparently it's the local fishermen that come and leave these big ballast-like monuments. <laughs> And I suppose, I think it's to give fertility? I don't know. To leave fertility? I don't know. That one looks like a matchstick to me. <laughs> Interesting. Ah, oh, my little wall. Do not offer these five things to Penang. Strange offerings. I mean, strange offerings is subject to opinion. Okay, so it is about time for us to head back to the boat already. Now, we don't have very long at Riley Beach on this tour, and the guy did mention at the start of the day, sometimes they don't get time to come to this beach because people like to spend longer at the others. We are, however, coming back here tomorrow with the friends that we met up with last night. We aren't too gutted that we don't get too long here because we're gonna have the whole day tomorrow when we come here by taxi boat. <laughs> we obviously know this is the spot. Oh my god, that little baby! Look at it! Oh my gosh! He's a big boy. He's a big He's monkey. Big. Oh, 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 just the skin. Nah, it doesn't want that. I had heard that you could do rock climbing here and just behind me is some guys actually doing the rock climbing. Now, it's something I thought I might like to do, but actually seeing it in person and seeing just how high it is and knowing what my fear of heights is like, yeah. I think I might give this one a miss. <laughs> Back to the boat. And we're back. Hey guys, so we've sat down on the beach, we've got a little bit of a tinny, and there is a fire show about to begin on the beach, put on by a couple of local kids. Okay guys, so we are now back in our room. We're gonna have a little bit of chill time tonight. Tomorrow morning, we are up early to go out and go back to Riley Beach, where we're gonna spend the day with our friends and really explore the island and see the viewpoint. So we will see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, you beautiful people. So it is another day and we are on our way to Rayleigh Beach today. So we need to head down to the beach in Al Nang and then try and get ourselves a little taxi boat to get across to Rayleigh. Now we've been told it costs about 200 baht per person, but then we've also been told you can get it for 100 baht if you go to the right people. So we're gonna go and find our friends and then see if we can get a good price to get across to Rayleigh. Viewpoint up there. So we are back on Rayleigh Beach and we are just climbing up to the viewpoint, and it is just this crazy climb. Just look at what we are climbing up today. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Let's try and get up a little bit further. We're a little bit lost. It's not like it's signposted up here. So we're trying to figure it out. It's 31 degrees today, guys. Okay, we've managed to find it. Okay, we made it. We are a little bit sweaty, absolutely dripping with sweat to be honest. But the viewpoint behind us is absolutely worth it. Took us, I'd say, about 20 minutes to get up here, guys. I'd say 20 minutes to get up here. A very hot and sweaty climb, but definitely worth the view. Okay, after a very sweaty hike, we have made it to the steepest point down to the lagoon and we have decided we are not doing it, it's not for us. It is just far too steep. You're basically canyoning to get down to the lagoon. So just be aware, if you do come up to the viewpoint, yes, it is a mediocre climb up to the viewpoint. You can do it, certainly. If you come into the lagoon, bring some climbing equipment if you want to be safer. If you're just a crazy person who wants to risk their life, do it without the climbing equipment, but I am not doing it. Okay, we have made it to the bottom. Definitely more the sweatier for it, but a sense of achievement, that's for sure. That was quite a hard climb coming down, definitely harder coming down than it was going up. And you didn't even have to look at what was below you, but it's definitely time for a dip in the sea. So we're gonna go get in the sea, cool off, chill out for a little bit on the beach and wash some of this sweat and this mud off our hands. Yeah, so walking along Riley Beach, just insanely stunning out here, guys. Like, you've got these golden, almost white sand beaches and completely clear sea waters, which feel just like a bathtub when you get in. They're so warm, but it's still refreshing at the same time. And even like the rock formations in the water behind me, like, this is just something out of like a postcard or out of a film. It almost doesn't look real, it's just that picturesque with perfect weather and these tranquil clear blue seas so just loving being here at the moment <laughs> you sound like a little shady cave <laughs> Okay, that is Riley Beach done for today. We just went and got some food with our friends and now it's time to get back on the boat and go back across to Ao Nang. Good morning. Today we are checking out of our hotel because we're heading to the PP Islands today. Yeah, so I think we're going to leave this video here. If you've watched this video, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!